As far as I know, we have been pretty mediocre at generating anime faces based on real life human faces, and not even considering giving results in real time. For example, the faces, eyes, hairs are all really disproportionate, and with a simple change of the camera angle, your face would just become a reincarnation of a Picasso art. Not long ago, I remember selfie to anime was a big trend and it has the best results for converting a human selfie into an anime character. So basically, you get to see how you would look like when you're drawn in an anime style. But recently, this has been taken to a new level as Snapchat, an app that is heavily infested by filters, has implemented this function and with a better twist. It is a really marketable AI like the image restoration which can be used to generate profits for companies. So I am not as surprised that they took this idea from the open source realm and decided to invest it themselves. The project selfie to anime that I've mentioned 30 seconds ago has probably motivated the creation of these filters, which is based on the AI paper called You Get Tit, which stands for Unsupervised Generative Attentional Networks with Adapted Layer Instance Normalization for Image-to-Image -image Translation. Nice, another long name paper. So basically what it does is that this AI is trained to perform image translation, for example, style again transferring facial features to another face, but in You Got Tit's case, it's slightly different. And it uses GAN to help them to learn. And for those who don't know what GAN is, the AI just basically gets slapped on the butt for doing something not as good so they will do better next time. So here comes the problem. You see, selfie to anime is a great concept, but practically it does not work as well, as you can see in these results and previously. So Snapchat joined the competition recently, and not to mention TikTok a while ago, way before Snapchat, and they definitely show a clear superiority in a whole concept of converting real life faces to anime. And here comes our favorite question, which one is better? But before we dive into this great philosophical question where I can claim that to a certain extent this is better than that, let's give an overview of the basic differences. The first thing that I noticed that makes these two really different from You Got Tit is all the important facial features like the eyes are more applied on like a filter instead of being generated. While I do not know the exact details, details about how they have achieved to make these filters, but I highly doubt that this is a work of AI. To be able to consistently generate eyes without it going everywhere, I think this is achieved either using their filter techniques, along with some basic AI facial generations, and the implementation of You Got Tit, and maybe something else. The filter techniques is more obvious for the TikTok filter. As you can see, all the eyes have the same type of eyebrows as you see in Sayakano. For Snapchat, it feels like it has the same generated style as You Got Tit. And to be honest, I speculate that the anime filter is from You Got Tit because I think that it inherited the problems that it has. To make a fair comparison in a performance test, I first tested them on the same set of pictures, ranging from different ethnicity, drawings, different color of Will Smith. It is rather fascinating looking at these results. Pause the video if you want to give a closer look, but overall I can see a trend of Snapchat filters really struggles at picking up beard and bald head. It keeps on deciding to give both people hair, I mean that's really nice and all, but not what you're supposed to do sir. On the other hand, TikTok does show a trend of having less diversity on how people would look like. Even though the eyes look really nice, but you can see that the colors are mostly the same. And this gives like an overall less sense of uniqueness when they all have the same pupil color. This is not as satisfying because one of the more important features in anime faces is the eye. It is the eye color that would separate a character from being normal and being a psychopath. Onto the movement aspects, the accuracy of of generating hair is really good on TikTok, but I doubt that's generated. It could have been generated, but I think that it is too accurate to be generated, so I would say it's more like an outline filter within the anime filter. But for Snapchat, the hair is pretty obvious that it is generated, and it even ignores when the hair is too long. This is probably ignored due to the limitations in training the AI model. Also when there are obstructions blocking the faces, TikTok manages 
images to reduce the distortion while Snapchat just can't handle the change. And overall, I think TikTok's anime filter maintains a better consistency at following faces, tracking the mouth movements, and not constantly changing the look like how Snapchat would make you grow more hair if you move too much. I think that in video, Snapchat slightly lose the edge on this, and I'm guessing that it is transforming the faces frame by frame so it is hard to maintain its consistency, and TikTok is slightly better in this context. But for a more authentic and genuine anime face transformation, I would say Snapchat does it better even though TikTok is still better in some other aspects. And this video is sponsored by Infinite Red. Infinite Red Consulting handles your mobile, web, and AI needs. If you are looking for someone to build your app, visit and reach out at infinite.red. And lastly, thank you guys for watching as always. Join my Discord if you are interested in discussing anything and participate in the community. Check out my Patreon and my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you all next time.